picturesque Mahombe, founded in 1754 by German, Swiss, and French Protestants. Once home to a vibrant boat building community, Mahombe also has a lot of other deeper, darker secrets. Piracy ran rampant in Mahone Bay, and actually the term Mahone Bay comes from the word Mahone, which was a low-built pirate ship that used to frequent these waters. Also, a little bit later on, rum running also played a big important factor in the local economy. This is Mahone Bay, and this is Get Your Eat On Nova Scotia. I'm Jay Dory, your host. Uh, can you just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and the restaurant here? Uh, we've been here for five years now and um, we basically uh, kind of do a, a, a world kind of cuisine. Um, I'm based out of Europe so there's a lot of European influence but I keep things simple, fresh and delicious. Well, it's all about the ingredients and shopping local. Is that something that Mateus Bistro does a lot of? Absolutely. We, uh, we try to uh, source as close as possible to the restaurant, and uh, uh, I try to deal with uh, a lot of the local farmers. And uh, right now I have about eight farms that supply the restaurant. Oh, that's great, as well as your drinks too are quite local as well, wines and beers and such. Yeah, this year we've, uh, we've really highlighted the uh, Nova Scotia beers and wines, so um, our drink, uh, drink menu reflects that for sure. We, uh, we highlight the Big Green Egg. Um, our whole menu on Fridays changes lunch and dinner. Uh, everything's off the grill and uh, everything's pretty much a grilled item. So we do uh, smoked chicken, um, which is quite popular, and then bacon, of course. Uh, actually, we got a big slab of bacon in the, uh, in the other green egg that was in, in overnight. Let's, let's take a look. So these babies were in here uh, for a good 10 hours overnight, and uh, they got another little light smoke to go. Um, and then they're ready to eat. I'm my, uh, I, I'm in with this watering right now. I don't know what the... You need a rag? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, can you smell that? That is something else. There's nothing quite like it. Lots of local artists have their artwork displayed here. Uh, if you look at the walls behind me, there are different photographs, abstract arts. Uh, this is one of my favorites, actually. This series, wonderful. All right, so uh, this is the bar area of Mateus Bistro. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your bar here? It's quite unique looking. Uh, we got this piece of uh, lumber from up the road, actually. It's a local piece of walnut. And we had uh, Amos Woods um, finish it for us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just live edge, as natural as we could get it. Uh, it looks beautiful. The strawberry mojito right now is a massive hit, especially when it's nice and warm out. Oh yeah, mojito is yeah. one of my favorite yeah. morning Would you drinks. Like one? What? Would you like one? I would like one, Matt. A fresh sprigs. There you are, Mr. Dorian. Thank you. It's like a salad in uh, in dessert. a glass. Yeah. Wow. That is. It's a warrior's drink. Uh, Taste Nova Scotia has uh, this chowder uh, passport, and every time you go someplace and have chowder, uh, you can get a stamp. You know, you can go to Mateus Bistro, Trellis Cafe, Governor's Pub Eatery, and so on and so forth. Uh, 61 places to go and get chowder. You know, I like, I like chowder as much as the next person, but... That's a, that's a lot of chowder. So Matt, what inspired you to become a cook? My influence came from my mother. I kind of grew up in the kitchen with mom. And uh, yeah, she's been a huge influence in my life. Did you help her out a lot when you were a little kid? Oh, I sure did. Yeah, I bet you she would love to help too, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Get my sticky fingers in there. So uh, I've had some of your Slovak food, and yes. I have to tell you, and Hungarian food, and it is absolutely fantastic. 
But uh, who do you think would be a better cook, you or your mom? Ooh, that's a tough one. Your mom might watch this right now. It's probably going to have to be mom then. That's the good son. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if it, too many other places around here that does uh, this particular style, like off of a bunch of green eggs. No, actually, we're featured in the uh, Big Green Egg um, uh, magazine. Oh, really? Yeah, it comes out uh, quarterly and uh, goes across Canada. So we're featured in that as one of the restaurants that uh, uses their equipment. We're going to be able to taste all this when we're done, right? If you're good to me. I'll be good. I'll be real good. <laughs> so we season that down. Give her a flip. I always like to use a little bit of oil just so it gets that nice sear going. And a nice hot grill. Away she goes. Away she goes. Little bit of balsamic reduction. Topped off with a touch of hollandaise. Hot, you're killing me. A little salt and pepper. A little greenery, and there you are. The steak was delicious. You uh, haven't had dessert yet. That's right. I haven't had dessert yet. That's right. If your creme brulee was a woman, I would marry her. Oh, well, wouldn't that creme brulee be lucky? <laughs> Not for very long, because I eat fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. So, uh, this is Mateus Bistro. This is my home bay. And this is Get Your Eat On Nova Scotia. I'm Jason Tour, your host, and we'll see you next time. Follow us on Facebook, Get Your Eat On Nova Scotia. Or follow us on Twitter, at Get Your Eat On NS. Now, if you excuse me, I'm getting my eat on right now. this here. Yeah. Oh, that's good stuff.